be learning about molt, molting. So, I think it's just finishing. Can you go over this way? Or, no, it's way. just beginning to molt. It's shiny. Western skink. Okay, so I don't know if you can see me at the moment, um, but this is going to be a reflip. We just flipped this tiny little king snake, and now we want to show you the rock flip. Ready, Ian? Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Nice. Go for it, Ian. Little bitey. Sweet. All right, that's the first king of the year. Yes, first one. Huh? You're gonna poke me with a stick, why? Why were you gonna poke me with a stick? What'd you say, sir? <laughs> oh, what's that in your hand? Go for a snack? <laughs> California king snake. Number two of the day. Number three snake, but the second California king snake. And the second snake of the day was a little Southern Pacific rattlesnake. I am betting that that's going to be the last thing that we see today because it's getting cold and we're going to head back to the car. But uh, one last look at this little baby king snake before we go. Nice banded king. Little. Uh, it's full. Looks like it's there. been eating. Yeah. Probably some lizards. Oh, little baby. Nice, Ian showing his snake handling skills. All right. Uh, if I don't uh, record anything else, it's because we didn't find anything else. So, uh, thanks for watching. All right, I said we would check back in if we found anything else. And a perfect end to the day. The biggest king snake of the day, believe it or not, is this one. And uh, it was under a log. And uh, right next to where we parked. So I really wasn't expecting to find anything else, but this is a very cool end to the day. It has a cool little pattern on its neck there. It makes it distinct from the other ones. And uh, thank the Lord for every creeping thing, especially California king snakes. They're awesome. Third one of the day. All right. Bye, guys. Herping in the backyard. Gopher snake in February, San Diego County. This is actually the first gopher snake we've seen this year. We've seen tons of kings and one gopher snake. Usually it's the other way around. The audio is probably going to be horrible because I didn't bother to take my case off. But uh, here's a little baby Southern Pacific. First snake of the day. Ooh. And I got my shadow on there, of course. Well, that's good that they're under. Yep. It is a very warm day. Uh, hopefully we'll check back in with some more stuff. Out. What do you got there? Alligator lizard. Southern alligator lizard. San Diego subspecies. I forget what they are. Are they Algeria? Algeria. Something or other. Whatever. It's <laughs> a hawk over there. Good little alligator lizard. I took the case off, so now hopefully we can hear. And here is the first real snake of the day, Mr. Edwardsy. And we got ourselves a good-sized Southern Pacific in a weird position that I thought it was dead. I wonder if he's hurt, or maybe he's just enjoying that heat. I don't yeah, know. He's, he's just crawled really, out. Really enjoying the heat. Good-sized one, probably a three-footer. Check back in when we find the next thing. That is a pretty good sized southern alligator lizard. And we're gonna let this guy go and keep going. See what else we can find. All right. Well, guess what? Checking back in with some good news. And this is a beauty little aberrant, almost like a, uh, what do they call those, road? Uh, highway. Yeah, what? I believe this is almost like a highway pattern. Aberrant, in between, banded and striped baby cow king. Beautiful, beautiful yellow. little hatchling. Yeah, look at the yellow. 
I don't know if you can see all those stripes because it keeps turning. <laughs> dashes and dots along the back. Awesome. Cool. This has made our day. Very cool. Well, I'm checking back in already. It's been like 10 seconds. <laughs> Nathan Edwards found two more Southern Pacifics, adults. One got away, the other one's underneath this board right here. Bless you. Go for it. Go for it. Somebody. Ian. <laughs> All you boys. All the way over. There you go. That's a pretty one. That, that was a prettier of the two. <laughs> Get on this other side. Definitely the two. <laughs> He's hot. Get over here, He's hot. Alright, we're gonna put him back in his pile before he gets away. There seems to be some kind of commotion way over there. Oh, no, they walked off. Must not have been anything. Well, we got rattlesnake number, I don't even know, six or seven. Seven, Ian says seven. Alright, here. Oh wait, that's not a rattlesnake, that's, that's Ian. Hey, watch your foot, he's right there at the edge. Ready? No. There she blows. I'm just gonna put this back down. Bye, Mr. Southern Pacific. No, don't, don't do it yet. Hurry up or it'll start moving. Oh, shoot. That oh shoot came from this old guy. He does that a lot. Well, Southern Pacific number eight. Not a very big one, but a snake's a snake. Bye, Southern Pacific. Got a very uh, strange looking alligator lizard right here. Really light colored, almost green, like a light green, which is very unusual or alligator lizards here. But uh, let me turn this around. I don't know if you can get that. Almost green alligator lizard. Cool. There are a few kings left. <laughs> this is king number two, and guess who flipped it? Ian! Great job, buddy. That might be the first king he's ever flipped by himself. Yeah, it oh, is. Underneath it is. this really covered up board that you can barely even tell is a board. And he was right. Under there in that and moisture. The trails. Yep. And there's a shed. A shed? What? a shed right there? Oh, yeah. No, oh, that's probably his. Or, well, I don't know. It looks so small, actually. Maybe it was his meal. Hey, little kingy. It's a sub adult. Decent sized. Yeah, first bitey one of the year, and it bit Ian right here. Got a little love tap, a little, little scourge. Nice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Very nice, Ian. Great job. Now I gotta lift all these other things. We got some tired and whiny people here. I'm one of them. There's another one. There's another one. There's a really whiny one back there somewhere. And right under this board is the tenth snake of the day, finally. It is pretty late. What is it, about 4 o'clock? Yeah, 3.45. And uh, he's right under this board here. Let me see if I can... There we go. Anybody want to do the honors? There it is. That's number 8 for Southern Pacifics and number 10 for snakes for the day. That's good. I'm going to leave him, leave him be. He's pretty. Well, it's pretty late in the day. We are right next to the Mexican border, and I just found this little guy. It's a night snake. First one of the day. First night snake of the day, and first one I've seen in a long time, actually. Definitely the first one this year. This is the 11th snake of the day, and a cool welcome find. Nice. Well, we took a chance. We went a long way went right next to the border, right next to the Mexican border, and we found some carpet and stuff to lift, and, oh! <laughs> and, next, just right after I got the night snake, we got a bitey king snake. Bitey king. Nice striper. Nice little yeah. baby striper. Perfect, perfect, almost perfect. <laughs> perfect to me. Perfect. Awesome. Way to go. Ooh. Paid off.
Yep. That is the 12th snake of the day, I think. Uh, yeah. Nice. This is really odd. It is a crispy little snake found underneath a board. A little night snake. You can see the spots, darker spots right there. Looks like it's probably a night snake. Looks like it, yeah. Weird. Mr. Edwards found that one. Well, we have had one day where we found absolutely nothing and I hurt my back and I'm kind of recovering a little bit now and Ian and Dad are here and they're doing all the lifting and guess what? Yes! Can you see your head, little guy? Where's your head? He's trying to dig into Ian's hand. Guess who flipped his second king? This kid. And it's a striper. A really nice striper, little baby striped king. Striped California king. Only a tiny bit broken up all, all the way at the tail. Like, yeah, it's facing the wrong direction for us to see it here. Oh, there we go. Whoop. Look at that tiny little dash at the end. Almost a perfect striper. Way to go, buddy. Good job. All right, we're going to see if there's anything else out here. And if not, and that might have been our outing for today because we've already looked under a lot of stuff and haven't found any snakes at all. Ian found this one under this tiny little rock. This one right here. Put your hand there. Small hand, but you get the picture. Small hand, small rock. Great job. Well, if we don't, if we don't check back in, uh, that'll mean that we didn't find anything else today. And uh, hopefully we'll be checking back in soon on our next trip. But thank God for every creeping thing, especially California king snakes. Bye-bye. And then Nathan Edwards goes out into this beautiful habitat for a solo herping mission. Well, just started flipping. Well, in the early spring here, February, towards the end of February. Got a stripe racer. Pretty cool, good first snake, about five rocks in, good sign. See if he doesn't bite me. Oh, yeah. Yep, mm-hmm. Let's try to get that more in focus. Ah, uh, got me, a little bit. Now let's see if, see if we can get some video. There's some video. They are fast. There he goes. And gone. <laughs> Red diamond. Nice big red diamond. Well, rattlesnake number two, Southern Pacific this time. Really big, really big, beautiful colors. Really neat. So three snakes lifting rocks by himself in February. Not too shabby. Well, out here at a new location, pretty cool spot, big grassy fields as far as the eye can see, quite a bit of junk to look under, and uh, Nathan Edwards and my son Ian already found a baby striped California king snake, so that was awesome. Uh, we got quite a bit of hiking left to do, my dad's back behind me somewhere trying to take pictures of an osprey I think, not positive, but I think there's an os osprey cruising around here. There's some water nearby. So cool. It's a beautiful day, Southern California. 
can't ask for a better day. Uh, it's been cold the last few days. Today's the first warm day, so I don't know. We might be jumping the gun a little bit on the temperatures. Uh, it might be better a couple days from now, but today's the day that we have uh, available to go, so we're going today. And we'll see what we can see. Hopefully I'll check back in pretty soon. All right. What we got here, uh, we got a board. Let's see, is there anything under it? <gasps> king, king! Nice. What is it, a bandit or a? Bandit. Bandit? Oh, look at that guy. That is awesome. Well, that's little, number two today, huh? Yeah, it's a little smiley Nice, face. nice early, early season. Flip board flipping, pretty awesome. Well. Somebody got a legless lizard, and somebody else just got on the board with this guy. Little baby striper. Striped California King. He's musking all over me. Probably looks similar to the other one, only I think this one's even smaller. Lovely. Lovely. And I'm barely lifting anything. I just lifted a board with the handle of my snake tongs. And this guy was about to go down a hole. That would be number three for the day. And a legless lizard. And a legless. Awesome. And this is one of several slender salamanders seen today. It's got a cool little line down its back. There's a lot of different subspecies of these, or some of them have been elevated to full species now. But it used to be a garden slender salamander. Who knows what it is now? Nice find. Put him back. All right, we're in kind of a populated area here. Of course, everywhere is populated in Southern California. Ian's doing the flipping. I can't really. Hey, can you spin it? Um, there you go. Nothing. This little piece here. This was a good-looking board. We'll put it all back the way it was, of course. Oh, night snake. Big one for a night snake, actually. Believe it or not. Night snakes are really small. Yeah. And that one is pretty good size. Good job, Ian. Now we're pretty much out of boards and out of junk yeah. to flip. There might be a couple more at another spot we might drive to in a minute, but this is probably going to be it for the day. And uh, thank the Lord for every creeping thing. All the, the three kings today, the night snake, the legless lizard that we didn't get on video, but still cool. Uh, very cool. That is a long night snake for night snakes. Awesome. They're a little sort of mildly venomous snake, but they don't really bite people and they're, they're not considered dangerous at all. So, good job, buddy. Thanks. Well, I'm betting this is probably going to be the end of this uh, video, but there's one last herp. It's 507. Sun's about to go down here pretty quick, and we are beat. We have just exhausted ourselves hiking out here, but. Here's one tiny little last herp, probably last herp of the day right here. All right, that was the Baja tree frog or Pacific tree frog or Pacific chorus frog or Baja chorus frog, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, that little frog is probably the last thing we'll see today. But uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy these videos, and like and subscribe if you do. Thanks.